This is Precalc 12, Chapter 2.2. You're going to be exploring rational functions by looking at the graphs. And to help you along, I'm going to show you some definitions. Rational expressions have the form P of X over Q of X, where P and X are polynomial expressions. And just to help you with definitions, here, this blue line, dotted line, is called a slant asymptote. This red dotted line is called a horizontal asymptote. And this dotted red line is called a vertical asymptote. What you want to think about while you're doing this lab is vertical asymptotes occur at the zeros of Q of X. How many vertical asymptotes are possible if Q of X has degree N? And you want to explore when does a rational function have a horizontal asymptote? And as a challenge, you can try to figure out when does a rational function have a slant asymptote? Think about how you can tell what happens at the ends of the curve. So at positive infinity and negative infinity. The hint is to compare degree of P of X with the degree of Q of X. And here's the definition of a hole. And it's when the point is removed from a curve. So what does that look like? So we have a curve and we have a point removed and the curve continues. Okay, it has to be a point removed from a curve. And you'll want to figure out when do holes occur, and can they occur when there's a vertical asymptote. So, if you are okay, you can stop here. If you need more hints, uh, please continue to watch the video. Group 1 looks like this. y is equal to x squared minus x minus 2 over x minus 2. So this is what you do with this factor, x minus 2, x plus 1, x minus 2. You have common factors and you can cancel them. And now we're left with x plus 1. This line looks like x plus 1. However, we have a hole at x minus 2 equals 0, x equals 2. And our non-permissible value x equals 2. So you should notice that we, the non-permissible value matches where the hole is. In this situation, we have no vertical asymptotes. We have no horizontal asymptotes. Next example, called group 2. There are no common factors. This can also be factored at the top. 1 plus x, 1 minus x, x plus 3, x minus 2. So there's no common factors. We have NPVs. x equals negative 3, x equals 2. And where do we have vertical asymptotes? There and there. Well, that corresponds to x equals negative 3, x equals 2. So these happen to be our vertical asymptotes as well, the non-permissible values. What else do we have here? We have x equals negative 1 is a horizontal asymptote. How do we get this from our equation? 
Well, let's look at our leading terms. We have y equals negative x squared over x squared. That's negative 1. And we have no holes in this one. So look for the pattern of why we don't have holes, why we have vertical asymptotes compared to this one where we have vertical asymptotes, no vertical asymptotes, and a hole. Group three. Okay, so here we have it factored out and there's no common terms. We have non-permissible values. X equals three, X equals negative two. And let's look at the vertical asymptotes. Here we have X equals negative two, X equals three. So these happen to be our vertical asymptotes as well. We have a horizontal asymptote. Y equals zero. Let's look at the leading terms. Y equals three X over x squared, that equals zero. So you want to consider large values of x. Again, we're looking at what happens at positive infinity and negative infinity. And for this problem, there are no holes. So see if you can spot the condition of why there are no holes. And that completes this lesson.